the 100% timeout room that you do not want to go to as a kid. You got a dang jail door. <laughs> Killer clowns, suspicious bars, and what in the world is all of this? <laughs> hey, I'm Mark Maggs, the real estate expert. Today we're reacting to and breaking down some of the strangest Zillow listings on the internet. There's no telling what type of hot messery is about to go down. And yes, I just made that word up. But before we get into that, please smack the subscribe button. All right, Zillow gone crazy, let's begin. Alabama, four bedroom, two bath, 1200 square feet. You're gonna have to love stairs. You're gonna have to be very fit. You're gonna have to have great knees. You have the room with the pink couch, the pink drapes, and then they threw in the leather blue chair you have some sort of a trap door that opens up it looks like there's a some sort of ladder or something going down to the level so not only do you not get a staircase you get like some sort of crazy little ladder yep there it is you got some ladders i mean they show some pre-construction they show some dirt i guess the fact that it's on 18 acres maybe this could just be a fun lookout and then you could do a bunch of cool little houses around it as far as livability i'm saying no i'm not going with the, with the tower house let me know in the comments below do you love the tower house or do you hate it <laughs> the apostle house lakeland florida four bedroom three bath 2475 square feet looks single level looks amazing nice yard Actually, very nice yard. Oh, geez. All right. Religious figurines around the table. If you're going to list a property, declutter it. They have stuff everywhere. Got the TV on. And you got a dude walking down the hallway. The bed's made. I mean, the closet looks great. Look at this. They're doing laundry. You know, put your toilet seat cover down. I'm saying kind of a thumbs down on the, on the decorating, the pictures. The agent not telling them to get that stuff out. But I'm saying thumbs up as far as the yard space, single level. Looks good. Washington, Maine, five bedroom, two bath, 1100 square feet, kind of a little red flag, real small square footage for five bedrooms, 206,000 bucks. Actually looks quite nice. They could use a little help with the landscaping. As you work your way through the photos, I'm seeing nothing but a complete, complete gut job fixer. I mean, the kitchen, yeah, just wood rot. Your the, the colors don't match. You have drapes, you have beams, you have exposed Romex, you have exposed electrical, stains on the floors, the 100% timeout room that you do not want to go to as a kid. You got a dang jail door. <laughs> Why would you ever want a jail cell in your house? Let, let's say you have a couple kids. Are you prepping them to be prisoners? You have this fire hazard of all fire hazards, the furnace down below with the electrical running above it. Very, very cool exterior, colonial style. I actually like the color of the paint. Maybe paint that door red, the exterior front door. But the interior of this house, you just have to gut remodel. It could be very cool, but in its present condition, heck no. Would you ever jail cell in your, in, in your house? Tell me in the comments below. I'm saying no. The $10 billion house. I looked at this and I was talking to my friend, is that 10 million? No, that's $10 billion. 2,805 bedroom, 2,957 bath, and it's 3,329,831 square feet. That's the biggest property I've ever seen in my life. 10 billion bucks, our normal commission is either two and a half, three percent to each side. Two and a half to the buy side, two and a half to the sell side. Anyone out there want to buy this? Please come to me, come to me. <laughs> are you buying a cruise ship or are you buying the cruise ship that has this island? This cruise ship looks absolutely like a complete blast for kids. Surf pool, you have water slides, you have everything you can possibly imagine. But what exactly are you buying for 10 billion bucks? I'm thinking, yeah, Jeff Bezos, LeBron, any of you guys, any you billionaires? It looks as though you are buying your own floating city. I mean, six water slide, 20 decks, local schools are some of the best in the world. If I have a huge family, you can roll wherever you want. You can be in the Caribbean. You can be in Alaska. I'm giving this a thumbs up. The Bird House, Torrington. Wyoming. It's only 928 square feet, so it's tiny. Looks like a great little cute pad, except when you roll right in the second picture. Boom. I don't know if you look at the top right, you got the rear section of a deer or something that looks like an, 
I'm not a hunter, that looks like a white-tailed deer to me. But you got the back section, you got the butt. My kids would start laughing about that. Every single room, you got birds, you got turkeys. Get all that stuff out, put it in the garage, put a tarp over it, minus all the stuffed animals. Pretty cute little pad, I'm, I'm, I kinda like it. Let me know in the comments below, you, you buying this? Let me know. North Carolina, three bedroom, three bath, 2580. Great square footage, big piece of property. It did sell for almost full price. Nice mature landscaping. Kind of reminds me of a fun castle that you'll see in Scotland. A lot of great use of rock on the outside. Great little pergola. A pergola is something that you go out and you're just enjoying outside. It's something either to shade you from the weather, shade you from the sun, the rain. Yeah, and I'm trying to figure out why would they have a tower a lot of times we've seen that they, it's an observatory type tower that really serves no purpose at all. So the interior of this house definitely could use a little bit of love. That couch has been through hell. It, it's been through a lot. It looks like it's had a, a dog or cat gnawing on the bottom of it. Normally we get rid of stuff that is not in great condition. What's interesting to me is they have some Halloween stuff up. We tend to try to not take photos around Halloween. Let's say it doesn't sell and it goes to the next. Now it's the middle of summer and you have a bunch of Halloween decorations up. They definitely could have picked up their closet a little bit. I was thinking that they're ready for Halloween, but I'm thinking they're just kind of nuts. So there's a couple scary looking jack-o'-lanterns. What exactly is this room? They have a big couch in there and then they have the home office and then you have those freaky clowns on the back wall. Normally I have stuff that kind of hangs on my wall that motivates me and or makes me feel really good and like that warm and fuzzy. I'd be crawling in my skin if that was behind me the whole time. I like the house. Tell me in the comments below. Got any clowns in your house? <laughs> Reno, Nevada. Big property, six bedroom, five bath, built in 1930. Nice landscaping. <laughs> oh man. You're like, all right, we have a couple of elk heads, I think they are, above the fireplace. They're mounted way too high. You don't ever want to mount them that high. And then you go to the, the next picture, the entryway. It looks like they did some, some fun stuff, some extra crick, whatever. Man, they were out there when they were doing this. It's like they just smacked this stuff on the wall and it's stuck and they're like, man, that looks cool. And then as you work your way through, nothing really matches. I mean, you have, you have like a travertine floor with these big rock fireplace. You have the mirrors. Is that like your, your fun dance room? Where's the ballet, like the poles and stuff? Wow, this is nutty. Like they're pulling back the drapes, but they're on the ceiling. Every room is wild, every room is different. I've never seen more mirrors. <laughs> Look at that bathroom. You got the bidet. Look at the use of pinks, pink mirrors, chandelier, and a sunken pink tub with gold fixtures. I'm saying no on it, unless you did a gut remodel on the inside. The California house, thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know. <laughs> I don't even know what to say about these houses, to be honest. I'm not living in any single one of these. How about you? Which one was your favorite and which one are you gonna run far, far away from? Let me know. And let me know if you see any strange Zillow listings, definitely send them my way. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you binge watch the entire playlist and subscribe to my channel. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. Thanks so much for watching.